This is the temporary solution. We've been here for two years nearly now. I have been here now for just over two years. Since March, three adults, myself and my twin daughters. I live here with my son who's turning six soon and I've been here just short of two years. I had no hot water or central eating in my property I lived in for over 10 years and the lady decided to take me to court to evict me than do the uh, repairs. I lived at home with parents, but it became an unsafe place for a child to be, really, so um, I had to leave quite quickly. Um, I tried to explore every other option. I looked at private renting, but private renting was really expensive, so I was forced to come to the council for help. I lived before in a house, but the condition there was so bad because all the the house was full of the mould, but the landlord didn't do nothing. I asked many times to move in from here because my condition, health condition was so bad. My husband condition, health condition and my daughter health condition was so bad. And the end, uh, the council provide for me in hostel. This is a seven bedded hostel unit. I'm lucky enough to have a small kitchen area, but my bedroom and my living area is all as one. So I sleep in the bed next to my son, which isn't all bad, you know, it's nice to be close, but sometimes I wish I had my own space. And I'm sure that he wishes he had his own space. There's not a lot of space. Um, I've bought some storage boxes, which are laid on the floor. Our towels are usually kept on the end of the bed because we don't have a rack as such. You can see uh, my clothes is outside everywhere and some clothes are on the boxes. I can't use. The other problems here, for example, is the fire alarm. If it's one time, oh, okay, I can do. But here, for example, it's three or four times a month, more than three or four times a month. For me, it's very, very hard to get the stairs. There's seven families that share the bathroom areas. Um, and of course, that being seven families, it could be a mum and a dad with three children. So of course it could be kind of upwards from 15 to 20 people trying to get in the bathroom all at once in the morning. Well, you have to go through my, my room door, through another door and along a hallway and down three stairs to get to the shower room and the toilet. Sometimes I don't make it to the toilet and then I'm embarrassed because I'm in the middle of a hall where people are walking up and down. Um, then I have to come back into my room and try and sort myself out in the room because um, I can only get in the shower room if one of my daughters are around. I'm sorry to tell this, but somebody here can take drugs like cannabis or the smells is very, very hard for us. The, the entrance, the corridor outside, full of the smell. Uh, my daughter is asthmatic, you can understand what's going on. It's really sad to say I feel unsafe living here. You've got loads of different types of people that are in temporary accommodation, including those that, you know, might have a bit of substance misuse issues, they may be on drugs. So I've noticed that sometimes at night time, I can walk outside and there can be loads of people that don't live in the hostel and they don't have any right to be in the hostel that may be in the hallways. In the middle of the night, I feel unsafe not knowing who could be out there. To be honest with you, my daughters are not coping very well because they're seeing me deteriorate. Um, my depression is really bad since I've been here. Um, like I said, some days I don't even want to get dressed. I don't want to see no one. She's very well at school, at school but uh, it's so stressful all the time because she needs to study in the same room we uh, need to, to, sh to, to see the TV or to doing something, uh, to sleep with us or to see, sorry for these words, but to, to see my, uh, to see her father, uh, her mother, to sleeping together in the same room is not nicely. I think the effect it has on my son, I think mainly for him is the fact that he doesn't have his, his own space, like his own bedroom. Um, he's able to get on and do his homework. He just has to obviously sit on the bed and try and make use of the available space that he does have. But obviously it's not quite ideal because he doesn't have like a table, a dinner table to eat his food, he obviously has to eat on the bed. So I'm definitely anxious for us to be able to move on into a much more suitable accommodation. 
I just want to be within a reasonable travelling time to my son's school. So I'll travel up to 45 minutes, I don't mind. I don't mind if I'm in a flat or a house. I just want somewhere that I have my own bathroom, my own kitchen and my own bedroom. It's all I want. I just want a little bit more space so that my son has room to play and so that I've got room to kind of do my work. I hope to get soon a home. Two rooms, one for us and one for my daughter. Maybe she can sleep and can study there because now she is before the GCNC. Can help this room, can help her to study. I just hope to be able to bid for a suitable place where both me and my son can have our own space within the one building. Andre can have his own bedroom and have his comfort level that uh, a, a young boy coming into a teenager would like to have. Only thing in my life and my husband's life is that my daughter studying really, I like she to be a doctor in the future. I want to be her a, a doctor to help the people, just to help the people. For the future, our hopes for both of us is my son, I think, can um, continue to do well at school and develop his learning as much as he can. Um, once he's a bit more stable and settled in school and I've got the, the rent situation sorted, I can look on my career path as well. I want my son to be successful. I want his behaviour to kind of improve. You know, I want him to do well in school and studies. I want to do well for myself in studies. I want to have a good career for the rest of my life so that I can provide somewhere nice for my son to live. Yeah, um, I'm actually training to be a nurse at the moment, so I'm more than halfway through my degree. So it's really frustrating being here because I don't have any desk space for me to be able to do my work. If I need to do work, I need to go to the library in university, but of course I can't bring my son to the library, so I need to kind of look for childcare for him, which is, in turn can be really expensive. My hopes for the future is I just want my own place with a house flat. I just want my own place with my own front door so I can settle back down again.